Uh, the brother's asking an important question about making Tawbah. He said it becomes some, like something in it, almost systematic. We're constantly saying stuff for Allah and making Tawbah. But it, sometimes you might not feel it inside. It might not show up in your actions. Or you, you know, you're falling back into sin. All of us fall into this thing. And this is a very important question. And he said, how can the Tawbah be authentic? For the Tawbah to be authentic, there's, because there's, there's two main parts of this question. And he, or, or, first of all, is how, the, how can the Tawbah be authentic, is the question. The second, how can we remain upon the Tawbah and have a Tawbah that has, really has an impact on our lives, the one that we truly benefit from. Obviously, for the Tawbah to be authentic and to be accepted, we know that there's three conditions that must be met. All of us know these conditions. The first one is what? That we leave the sin. This is the clear thing, that you leave that sin. The second thing is that you have regrets of what happened in the past. You did that which is haram. You don't say, Alhamdulillah, I enjoyed the haram for so many years, now I make Tawbah. No, you have to actually feel bad and regret what you did. And the third thing is that you have the true intention to never go back to that sin. Once these conditions are met and you do it and you act upon it, the Tawbah is accepted. Inshallah ta'ala, if you then have your iman and your good deeds as we mentioned in the khutbah, those bad deeds will be turned into good deeds inshallah ta'ala. So what happens now, and that's and the brother alluded to it in his question as well, a lot of times we might fall back into the sin. And then we repent again. So it becomes something like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm repenting and then I'm, you know, I'm sincere in my repentance, but I fall back into it. And then I, again, again, it's just like a cycle that never stops. So you feel like you're not really repenting. What did the Lord tell us in the Quran? Inna Allah yuhibbu That Allah, indeed Allah loves who? From those who make tawbah? At-tawwabin. Not the ta'ibin. There's a difference linguistically in the Arabic language between a ta'ibin and the tawwabin. Ta'ibin, they made tawbah, it's finished. The tawwabin, they're constantly making tawbah. If you're constantly making tawbah, you're constantly doing what? You're constantly sinning. But when you sin, you immediately return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the way of the believer. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the verse in Surah Ali Imran, well, you know, he's talking about the muttaqeen. In the, if you go through the, uh, the ayat, he's talking about the muttaqeen. And then he came to the verse when he said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسُهُمْ They do that which is immoral, or oppress themselves. They're muttaqeen, but they fell off the path. I always, I always joke with the brothers and I tell them that in real life, in your battle with shaytan, there's no Floyd Mayweathers. Floyd went what? 50 and 0. Khabib is 27 and 0. With shaytan, it doesn't happen. He's going to knock you out. He's going to beat you. Uh, it might be an innocent decision in one of the things. He, he might beat you. It might be a split decision. You, you battle with him, but he got the best of you. He might knock you out. You're going to get beat by shaytan. N none of us. It doesn't matter how pious you are, how strong you are, you're going to lose. You're going to lose some of the battles. What's important is that when you lose, what do you do? Do you give up and say, Khalas, I keep, I keep losing. This is the way of the losers. But all of the winners, look at all the success stories, in deen and in dunya, you'll find that the people went through difficulty. Lost, 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 lost. Look at the story, uh, you look at basketball, Michael Jordan. We look at his story. He was cut from his team. He wasn't good enough to play in, high, in his high school team. And look who he became. Hands down, the best player to ever play basketball, subhanAllah. Through work, repeating, repeating, becoming. This is the way as well. If you want to be someone who remains on the Tawbah, you have to constantly repent. In the verse, when Allah mentions, they did that which is immoral, they fell into the sin. What does He say? Dhakar Allah. They're sinning, they, or they sent the night before, the next day. It should be at that time, but maybe shaitan had the best of us. I wake up in the morning, I remember the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even better, when I'm sinning, I remember the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What's the next thing that I do? فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذَنُوبِهِمْ وَمَيْ يَغْفِرُوا ذَنُوبَ إِلَى اللَّهِ Then they right away seek repentance for their sins. They seek repentance for their sins. And who can forgive the sins other than Allah? وَلَمْ يُصِرُّ عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And do not persist on doing it. Do not persist. Why? Because they made tawbah with the three conditions that we mentioned. And they continue on the path. If you get knocked out again, if shaitan gets the best of you, immediately what? You come back again. You get back on the path. This is the way of the believer. And once we understand this, Allah loves the tawabin. The door is open. As the Prophet ﷺ told us, كُلُّ بَنَالِمْ خَطَّى All of the children of Adam make mistakes. وَخَيْرَ الْخَطَّئِنَ التَّوَّابُونَ And the best of those who make mistakes are once again the tawabun, the ones who are constantly repenting. So we made a mistake, we, went, we come back on the path. We get knocked off the path, we come back. Until we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will, will be pleased with us. And Allah will assist us in staying on the path. Allah will assist us in staying on the path as long as we keep coming back to the path and striving on inshallah ta'ala. So once we do that, 
then inshallah the tawbah is going to be second nature for us. And we're going to benefit from our tawbah and we're going to feel it each time that we do sin and we're going to feel it each time that we come back inshallah and we're going to be able to remain on our repentance, on our tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah. Ta never give up, never despair. Always continue. Never let shaitan get the best of you because Allah will always forgive your sins and the door of the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the doors are always open. Always open inshallah wa ta'ala. As long as we truly repent to Allah, Allah is going to forgive us. You have that true intention never to return and you keep, keep striving. That's the key thing inshallah wa ta'ala.